Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nick Acosta and um, I just want to give you a quick message about living out your salvation, living out your new identity in Christ as a believer, as a Christian, as a child of God through faith in Christ. It's very important uh, for us to get this message because this is what, you know, the transformation um, that the Bible talks about in Romans that comes through the renewing of the mind is all about. This is what work out your own salvation is all about. This is what, you know, being a soldier of Christ is all about. Um, seeking those things which are above where Christ is at the right hand of God is all about. So this is uh, very important uh, for us to get. So the text uh, from this message is going to come out of Philippians chapter 3 and chapter 4. Basically, both uh, of those chapters, every single verse. Uh, I'm not going to read them um, on here, but uh, we're going to act as if we, we read these already. And let's just get to the message. So basically, in Philippians 3 and 4, Paul is writing to the uh, Philippians and, and is letting them know, hey, guys, you got to let go of your past. You got to let go of who you used to be. Those things that you used to be proud of, those things that used to impress you or impress other people about yourself, about your upbringing, your accolades, your accomplishments, and all those things, you got to let them go in order to follow Christ fully and faithfully, okay? He's telling them, hey, you got to let go of your past, and even me, I was the Pharisee of Pharisees, right? Paul was like, come on, I was like the Hebrew of Hebrews. I was very educated. I was I was zealous for the things of God. I was zealous for the law. I was taking Christians to prison and watching them die and, 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 and watching the clothes of those who would beat Stephen and all these things. Paul is like, I don't want to remember these. This is no longer me. It's no longer who I am. And these things are rubbish. They're, they're nothing. They're trash to me. Who I used to be matters no more. I have no confidence in my own flesh and who I am naturally. I have no confidence in who I was born as. Now it's only about who I was born again to be, to bear fruit to God for Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's the lesson for us today. We have to stop putting confidence in our own upbringing, in our own abilities and intelligence and degrees and accomplishments and friends and connections and, 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 and finances. Listen, we got to put all our confidence in Christ and Christ alone. This is real Christianity. This is us living out our salvation, letting go of the past. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. When you go to a funeral and you say, we are here because so-and-so passed away, we're saying we're here because they died. And that's exactly what the Bible is saying. We died with Christ. We were buried with him in baptism. We were crucified with Christ so that it's him who lives through us. Amen. We're new creations. We have to stop being so impressed with our past accomplishments. We have to stop being so impressed about our talents, about our old dreams, old goals that we had before Christ. Now that we're in Christ, our purpose is, di is different. Our potential is different. Our identity is different. So let's live like it. That's what Paul's saying. And I believe that's what the Lord is saying to every single one of us here today. Okay, we have to strive for the goal of our mission in Christ Jesus. We have to let go of what used to be. We are no longer of this world is what Paul's saying. Okay, he's saying, look, the things that were gained to me, I counted them as a loss for Christ. I don't care about those things. We have to say to ourselves, I don't care about my ex. I don't, I don't care about my old career. I don't care about my, own, my old riches. It's, it's, it's not about, I don't care about all the good deeds that I used to do. Forget all that. It's not about my own righteousness, but Christ is righteousness through faith in him. The righteousness, which is from God by faith, is what Paul says. Um, so we have to remember that. We have to remember we're no longer of this world. We're in it, but we're not of it. We are new creations. We belong to God now. It says to set our minds on the things of the spirit. It says to set our minds on the things of the up above, it says to seek those things which are above, in uh, above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God of the Father. That's the kingdom, right? It says to be spiritually minded, be heavenly minded, be kingdom minded. 
right? So that's what we have to remember. Our citizenship is from heaven, not this world. The Lord is our king now and we belong to his kingdom we are citizens of heaven and we have to remember to be encouraged to stay encouraged stay strengthened stay confident stay hopeful don't give up don't give up the fight don't give up the battle fight the good fight of faith don't grow weary in doing good why because it says the lord is returning for us the lord is returning to for his church for his bride Amen. So let's stay encouraged, remembering that we are citizens of heaven and our king is coming back down again for us, our final redemption, the redemption of our bodies, the Bible says. Amen. So be encouraged. We got to pray to God. We have to stop stressing about the world's issues and situations, especially at a time like this where this virus is, you know, all over the world and there's a lot of people in fear. Even Christians are in fear. And the Bible says, look, Stop worrying, stop stressing, stop fearing, but pray in everything with supplication, with thanksgiving unto the Lord. So Paul's telling us how to pray, how to address issues, not with anxiety, not with stress, not with fear, but just addressing the Lord, thanking the Lord and making our supplications known to him. We have to stay in prayer. If we're citizens of heaven, we have to stay in communication with the God of heaven. Amen. Amen. And, and, and it has all got to do with our mindset, with the state of our mind. And Paul says, look, guys, you have to start thinking on things that are just, that are pure, those things that are of good report, those things that are actually praiseworthy to the Lord. You have to start thinking differently. Think on those things that are pure. Set your mind on things above, like Colossians says. Paul is saying the same thing in Philippians. Think on things that are pure, that are just, that are praiseworthy, of good report, that are pure. Come on, right? So we have to fix our thoughts, our minds on the things of the Lord, on the things that are according to who we now are, our new identity in Christ Jesus. Amen? We have to also think about others, consider others, it says. Help those in need, right? If we're being heavenly minded, if we're thinking on pure things, we're going to start caring about people. We're going to start walking like Christ because, I mean, he is the king of heaven and he walked on here. It says doing good deeds, doing good works, healing those who were oppressed by the devil, forgiving people their sins, telling them to rise up and walk right? Forgiving people of their sins. So we have to help those in need, Paul says. And, and, and whatever we're going through, he says, set your mind on things that are pure and godly. It says, thank the Lord, pray, right? Give him your supplications. Don't be anxious. Don't stress out, right? Help those in need. Be selfless. Be considerate about others. Stop living for yourself. Let go of yourself. The Bible says deny yourself. Pick up your cross. Follow Christ. The Bible says if any man come, come after Christ, he must deny himself. He, might, he must even hate his life. And so we got to stop loving ourselves and just live for the Lord by loving him and loving others, helping those in need. And no matter what we're going through, no matter what our financial status and condition is, Paul says, be content with what you have. Be content in the Lord during any situation, just like I have been. Paul says, I have had a lot. And I was content and I have had a little, nothing to eat, nothing to this, nothing. And I was content also because I'm content in the Lord. This is how you should be. Why? Because Jesus Christ strengthens you, right? He says he strengthens you and you can do all things. You can overcome all things. You can be content and endure tough and rough situations and circumstances because it's Christ who strengthens you, right? It says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. The context of that is not working out. The context of that is not climbing a mountain and hiking. The context of that is you being able to endure tough situations and trials, whether you have a lot or a little. Be content in, in the Lord. And that's the message for us today. We have to remember who we are, where we're from, right? Who we're living for. Let go of our past. Come to God in prayer. Think on godly things. Remember those things. Remember that the Lord is coming for us. Be encouraged. Think of others. Consider others. And we must be content in the fact that we are the sons and daughters of God. And we are redeemed. And he's returning for us. And we are blessed in him. Amen. I hope this helps you and encourages you. And I hope you have a good day. Bless you.